Most of us tend to be creatures of habit. So I want to ask you, how do you start your day? Now for me, it's nothing fancy. I wake up and then I kind of walk like a zombie, half asleep, half awake to the bathroom, and I brush my teeth. It's a really nice way to start the day, a little self-care. Just focusing on me, getting a dialogue going, kind of start thinking about the day a little bit. Uh, mind you, I uh, do a very thorough job on my teeth, okay? It's nothing uh, sloppy or casual. It's, 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 a, it's For me, it's, it's a simple way to start and do something um, with some focus, something I feel I do thoroughly, and then I drift on to the second part, which for me is really what I want to talk about right now. And that is next, after doing a few minutes of that, I immediately focus on other people. I find it so liberating, so important. Rather than immediately jumping into, what do I need? What do I want? What am I going to do today? I'm going to spend most of the day caught up in that, you know? So right at the start, I gift myself with a bit of breathing room. And it sends an enormous message back to me. I am free. There's no big rush here. I am free and I am uh, lucky enough uh, and I've been given enough that I can start my day by giving to others. So I'll make a tea for my son, maybe a coffee for my wife, check in with my daughter, wash some dishes, check in with the dog, you know, sit down with the dog for five minutes and just have a nice quiet communion with the dog, check in with our, our wonderful family pet. And all this really helps me start the day in a really, uh, like I said, a really positive and open and flowing mode, which uh, sends a message of freedom back to myself and really establishes a beautiful tone for the rest of the day, something to really try to maintain. So whatever you do first thing in the morning, I encourage you to don't just get up and fling yourself into your day, okay? If it means you have to get up a little bit earlier to avoid that rush, do that. It's a terrible way to start the day. It really is. And definitely try focusing on the needs of other people. That might be something that works for you like it works for me. Either way, definitely keep in mind this important idea, and that is how you start your day. The first 5, 10, 15 minutes are really important, and you should do it thoughtfully. I truly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today. And if you think it might help a friend or someone in your family, please share this video with them. As corny as it sounds, we really are all in this together. Thank you.